Hi there guys, this is Nikhil from Greedy Tech and these are my list of top 15 apps that I use daily. So guys, the first one is the TSF Shell or TSF Launcher, which is my default home launcher. The next one is the swipe pad. So when I swipe from the edges, which I've already configured, I get access to my quick shortcuts or the apps that I frequently use. So I simply swipe from the edge to access these shortcuts and that's the user swipe pad and next is in shots which gives me a very short description about the latest things that are going around in the world so it's like a twitter feed for news so the next app is Textra, which is a messaging app well there are four things that i like about it first thing is the theme so i can basically change the colors just few but it's okay next is the blacklist Third feature is to stop alerts from a particular contact and fourth one is mark all messages as read. So for that I need to go over here and press mark all as read and if I have any unread messages everything will be turned to red. So it's a nice feature to have if you get a lot of messages. So next in our list is push bullet which is used to send links, text, images, files actually file size is below 25 MB to any of your devices like let's say you have a tablet and if you want to push a link from your phone to your Android tablet then you can use push bullet or else if you want to send a file from your phone to your PC very quickly then you can use push bullet I really wish if they could use the LAN over the internet for local file transfers so anyway this is a very nice app to have and you can share information between your devices and between your friends well Apple has it inbuilt I guess but this is what we have to use on Android next I have something called as an app dialer pro which is used to access any app very quickly so let's say I want to open power AMP so POW and there I have it power AMP let me open Play Store so it's very easy to do it like this instead of searching the entire app drawer when you have a lot of apps so the next app is ES file explorer which is your normal file explorer but with a lot of cool stuff like you have the option to send files from one device to another if both devices have ES Explorer over Wi-Fi and actually the transfer speeds are really good it acts like a share it app but it comes as an additional feature of a file manager just apart from that you have tons of features like you can back up all your APKs install APKs and really a lot of stuff so anyway do give it a try the next app is Trello which I use to organize all my stuff, projects, videos, even life. So this is just the cardboard or the boards. So you can see that my device is actually slow because I am also doing a screencast or a screen recording. So the next app in our list is Touchpal which is my favorite keyboard from a long time. Let me just quickly show you a demonstration. So this is the touchpad keyboard and like any other keyboard we have the swipe. So anyway, so if I want to remove the last entered word, I can simply swipe it from here to remove it. So if I enter, if I want to enter the numbers, I can simply swipe up. And for some reason, if I want to move the cursor, I have this navigation keys. If I want to copy all the text, I can do that. It even has an inbuilt clipboard manager. So you can have your last or most recent 10 clipboards. Really good app, just give it a try. So the next app in our list is OVO, which is basically a timer. So OVO, this is my favorite app since ages. And it is simply a timer with a maximum of one hour. Very sleek and simple design, really easy to use. Next we have link bubble which opens up links in the background. So let me just open Google and open up a few links. So whenever I click on a link, link bubble opens it up and I have to do and I can do whatever I want now. And whenever the web page is open, I can go to this bubble and browse through it. A very good productivity app. Next this is a simple calculator app which has history information so these are some of the calculations that I have done. 
so I usually want to have access to my previous calculations so this app gives me that option so if you know a better app than that do let me know this is a voice recording app which has an option to sync all your voice recordings to your Dropbox so a nice app and so this is Google Keep and you can use it to basically store temporary information or small information well actually you can do a lot of stuff with it but I usually prefer to keep it simple and and if I want to quickly add some notes or quickly take down some note I use this particular application and if I want to store some important information I usually use Evernote so the final app in our list is the studio which is actually a YouTube studio app to monitor my YouTube channel so there you have it guys these are my top 15 apps that I regularly or frequently use on my Android device so there you have it thanks for watching this video if you have any doubts do let me know and if you have any suggestions for me do let me know by commenting below this video if you found this video to be helpful give me a thumbs up and share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel to see more videos just like this